What's up, guys? We're here today with the one and only Robbie Cornthwaite. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just uh, we're thinking about doing a few uh, videos for you guys and uh, getting out a lot of content just on our daily lives and, and also stuff that you guys want to hear. Um, eventually, we'll get out to you guys and ask questions um, uh, with content that you want to see. So, um, yeah, basically at the moment, we just want to do sort of an intro video on um, our lives in EPO, I guess. So, um, yeah, yeah, we're just going to be covering a lot of different topics, obviously. Life's in EPO, football, any sort of current events, local food and all that sort of stuff. So, um, we're excited to bring it out to you guys. And like Brendan said, um, if there's anything you guys want to know, don't be shy, send it through. and. Um, We'll do our best to uh, to answer all the questions, I suppose. At the moment, we're just going to talk about um, our first time in EPO. So both of us, we just signed here, uh, 2018 season. Uh, Robbie signed under some pretty pretty rare circumstances, which I'll let him fill fill you in about um, moving clubs and whatnot. But um, myself, I just I just came off an injury, so um, this was my uh, 12 months off football, and then my first time back to football in Malaysia. Uh, Parat came calling, and uh, it's a beautiful place at the moment. So yeah, I mean, like any athlete and any footballer, um, you know, nothing ever comes easy and um, you're never sure how things are going to come about. But, um, you know, I had a great opportunity um, playing in, uh, in the Australian A-League, captain of the Western Sydney Wanderers. Um, but I had an opportunity to come back to Malaysia and, and work with some players and a coach that I'd worked uh, with previously in Malaysia and um, had a successful time. And um, now that I look back on you know, sort of my 13, 14 year career, half of that has been spent in Asia, um, you know, four years in, in Korea, in the K-League, and now, um, you know, a couple years coming into my third year in Malaysia. So, um, you know, it's, it's been good to me. Um, it's been good to my family. I really enjoy Asian lifestyle. And, um, you know, Ipoh is very similar to, um, you know, a city called Guanyang, where I lived in Korea before that. And, it's small city living, it's, um, it's personal, you get to know the people, um, you go to the cafes, you go to the restaurants, you go to the shops, you get to know the guys working there. Um, and I think that's um, what life and, and football and sports all about, it's relationships, making friends, moving on, staying in touch with people and just experiencing um, you know, so many different things other than, than sports, so many things off the field. And um, you know, Brendan's been traveled around Malaysia, played for a few different clubs and uh, I'm sure he stays in touch with everyone as well. Yeah, it's, it's, that, that's the thing. I think um, football is such like it's su such a big game that you do tend to lose a lot of um, um, you know connections whilst you're in the game. Um, you know, it's hard to keep keep in touch with every single person that you meet um, throughout football. But it's all those ones that you know that you stay in touch with. They're the ones that really really matter. So I've made a lot of friends over my time um, in in Malaysia itself and. Um, I'm sure Robbie has as well, and kept in touch with them all. But I think I think the thing with football as well, and maybe other sports too, is you've always got that connection. And there's yeah. guys I'm sure that you haven't spoken to for like two, three years, yeah. and then you bump yeah. into them at the shops, yeah, or you 100%. you see them, and, and straight away yeah. it's that instant connection. You yeah. spend so much time yeah. with each other, traveling yeah. um, and, and playing in foreign countries or whatever the case, and. Yeah. You, you form a bond and, and it think, seems to last. I think it's the same, like even with us, you know, like we've played against each other in the A-League and then we've come to Malaysia, we've played against each other in Malaysia, you know, we caught up a few times whilst being in Malaysia, himself being in Selangor, I was in Kelantan at the time, so, um, you know, we, we caught up with each other, but then obviously when I had the injury and then Robbie moved back to Australia, um, we still caught up one or two times in, in Australia just to, you know, say hi and, and what's been going on, but, um, you know, you, you do lose that, uh, that everyday um, talking, everyday connection with each other. But, you know, since we come back to EPO, it, it feels like we haven't even had a day really like a fight. It's, <laughs> well, it's it, helps, it helps that you're driving to training every day. <laughs> yeah, that's right, eh? I'm the taxi driver to, uh, tra well, actually to everything at the moment. Uh, Robbie's missus is uh, pregnant with a, another one on the way, so that's um, exciting. Any, any day soon. Any day might even uh, yeah. happen before this video goes out. <laughs> Hopefully, though. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, so we got a game coming up. Uh, we just played our FA Cup game, so um, we're back into the league. Uh, we played that against Sarawak, and uh, we won 3-1. Um, we had a pretty good display out there. I thought it was yeah, we played, good. we played well. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, this week's against my old side, Selangor, so looking forward to seeing all the um, familiar faces in the yeah. crowd, a lot of fans. Um, you know, I really enjoyed my time there, and I think we're probably going to plan on, on doing an away days um, video. So, you know, keep an eye out, and we'll definitely give you a plenty of insight into 
in what we get up to uh, the day before, the travel, the training, um, the food, and uh, and we room together, of course, because we do everything together. So um, we'll give you guys some behind the scenes look at what goes on, and, and hopefully some uh, you know winning celebrations as well. <laughs> oh, winning celebrations! <laughs> Love that. He, he keeps talk, telling to, um, talking to me about goal celebrations. So um, yeah, we went on the pitch when you scored. Oh. He reckons he scored the other day, uh, but um, here we go. Yeah, get a, get a goal. I, I'm pretty sure it didn't touch his head, but he'll claim it, and you know it's been put on the scoreboard. So I guess I guess that counts. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 no. I just obviously want to say, you know, settled in well to Ippo. We've, we've yeah. sort of floating around, finding our local coffee shops, restaurants. Again, if you've got any recommendations to cool. places to go and eat, places to go and um, get a coffee, let us know. Because, mm. um, you know, so far the first sort of six, yeah. seven weeks that I've been here, it's just been floating around, finding new places to go, um, to shop, to hang out. Um, and so far, so good. We've found heaps yeah. of good places. Brendan did most of the, the legwork before I got yeah, here. TripAdvisor. And... TripAdvisor is a good one. <laughs> Get on there. And found most of the places. So, um, yeah, like I said, if there's anything you know of, hit us up. Yeah, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing to be able to get um, some consistent good food. That opens early. Um, that's what I think we're struggling at the moment because if we're up early for training, um, you know, we want something that's open around 8.30, 9 o'clock and... It doesn't seem to be no, anything opening. It's just it's Malaysians like to uh, yeah. sleep in and stay up but late. But sure, so. surely there's a few places, you know, that are, that are open for a coffee or something like that, which... Um, which I'd be keen to be able to try out because um, get pretty hungry after training. Exactly. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, so that'll that'll wrap up our first sort of you know trial vlog, and um, you know we're as I said we're pretty excited about it. So um, hopefully you guys like our content, and um, we'll be pushing out a lot more. So um, enjoy the next few videos. See you soon, guys.